Hello viewers. This week, we will learn about quantum bits, or qubits. A classical computer encodes information in binary bits that can either be zeros or ones. However, quantum computing uses the quantum state of an object to produce the basic unit of memory called qubit. Unlike binary values that can either be zero or one, a qubit is not confined to a two-state solution, but can also exist in superposition. This means qubits can be employed at zero, one, and both one and zero simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform many calculations in parallel by pursuing simultaneous probabilities through superposition along with manipulating them with magnetic fields. Also, qubits can pair themselves via entanglement. Here, the state of one qubit cannot be described independently of the state of the others. So, change in one qubit state will instantaneously change the state of the other, predictably. This can empower companies to have instant yet secure communication relays. For more such insights subscribe to Analytics Insight.